My name is James Bezik. I'm a senior developer advocate here at AWS Serverless. This series is about the S3 to Lambda serverless design pattern and how it can become a flexible core for your serverless applications. In this video, I'll show you how you can trigger workflows from S3 put events. The workflows are managed by AWS step functions, which can help you build feature-rich applications using state machines. This S3 to step functions design can be used for all sorts of practical business use cases. For example, saving a signed customer contract from an email into an S3 bucket could start a work order process. Or for invoices saved to S3, you could extract key information using Amazon Textract and automatically pay invoices under a certain amount or route certain vendors through different payment processes. In the example I'll show you, we're going to create a workflow that's triggered by photos stored in an S3 bucket. If the photo is a picture of a cat, it will cause one Lambda function to run. If it's a dog, it will trigger a different Lambda function. And if it's neither, then it errors out. In this simple example that shows how we can use image recognition to determine a course of action, it's all triggered by S3 put events invoking Lambda. Let's take a look at the code. So the first thing I'm going to do is just git clone the repo S3 to Lambda. And you can see the directories appeared there. I'll look in the fourth example, workflow, and just cd into that directory. There you can see there's a SAM template, template.yaml. I'm going to use SAM deploy, the new, the new guided deploy to deploy the application. Set a stack name for workflow. My region is US West 2. And I'll set a bucket name of jbezwer workflow. I'll accept all of the existing defaults. That's now deploying. So while that's deploying, let's take a quick look at the template itself. Here's the input bucket name as a parameter. And in the resources section, there's an S3 bucket that will be using that bucket name for the deployment. Further down, there's a Lambda function called process function using Node.js 12. And it's going to use a state machine with AWS step functions. The IAM policy specifies it has access to the S3 bucket along with the ability to invoke a state machine. It also responds to events from anything with a suffix of JPG in that bucket, so any JPEG file. Now, the step functions function calls a couple of other functions. It has a dog found function and a cat found function for when each one of those animals is found. And then we define the step function state machine in the SAM template itself. This is a little bit difficult to read here, but I'll show it you inside the step functions UI where it can show you visually what it's doing. Further down, we also give it permission to invoke the Lambda function. So let's have a quick look at the code. In the process function folder there, you'll find the handler in app.js. Now this is a standard Lambda handler where it receives an event of the objects that have been received. All it's doing here is it's going to look at the object and invoke a step machine, a step function state machine using this step functions dot start execution function handing in those params. And when it's finished, it will then exit. So that's a very, very short function, just 20 or 30 different lines of code. Now the found functions, the cat and dog, dog example, the cat example will say meow, and the dog example will say woof. OK, so the application has now been deployed. So we'll go to step functions and have a look. I'll just refresh. And now you'll see there's a dog or cat state machine that's been deployed. Now the definition, that long amount of YAML you saw earlier, on the right hand side, you'll see a visualization. The first thing is it'll look and call, is this a dog or a cat on the image? And the choice state decides if it's a dog that's found, it will run dog found, and the same with cat. If it's unknown, it'll error out. So let's have a look at the dog cat function. So let's take a look at Lambda. I'm going to open the dog cat function just here. And inside here, you'll see it's going to use AWS recognition to do the work. It will build a params object based upon the S3 object using a confidence level of 70, so it's fairly low confidence to detect the labels 
within that image. And it's really looking for only a dog or a cat. It gives you a whole list of labels that come back. But in this code, if it finds dog or a cat, it'll return just that item. And then it returns dog or cat or unknown back to the step function. So back to the bucket that we created, I'm going to just go into that bucket and then upload some images for us to see this working. So I have a lot of different images of dogs and cats, but also a chipmunk and a chicken. So I'm going to upload just one of these for now. I'll upload the kitten. And that's now been uploaded. Now back in the step functions window, we'll just refresh and we can see that that workflow is now completed. And it successfully looked at that image, ran the dog or cat function, returned the cat, fired the cat found function, and then exited out. You see that cat was responded, re returned by the recognition service for this image. If I look at the CloudWatch logs for this particular function, you'll see that now the cat function is run and it says meow. So that's just for one image running. But what happens now if we provide many images all at the same time? So I'm going to pull in all 24 of those images that I had in that folder. We've got this chicken and a chipmunk, which will both cause the step function state machine to error out because they're not cats or dogs. So we'll just upload all of these different files. OK, that's now all uploaded. And then back in step functions, I'll just refresh this display. And you'll see all of these different workflows now completed with the two failed ones for the chipmunk and the chicken. This one was a dog it found. And then the failed example shows you that dog or cat didn't return either of those outputs. So as a result, it just failed and it errored out. Otherwise, it completed all of the other workflows. So in this example, I deployed a simple serverless application that was triggered when I uploaded photos to an S3 bucket. The first Lambda function triggered a step functions workflow that then used Amazon recognition to determine if the photo was a cat or a dog. If one of these were true, the workflow would trigger different functions, and if the photo was not a cat or a dog, it would error out. Step functions is a very flexible tool for modeling workflows that could otherwise result in complex code that would be difficult to maintain. It's an important service in the serverless developer's toolbox. The services used in this application scale up automatically, so I showed how it worked when about 20 photos were saved simultaneously into the bucket, triggering many parallel step functions workflows. Even this basic application could easily handle thousands of images stored in the bucket. This approach makes it very easy to build enterprise-grade workflow solutions triggered by S3 events invoking Lambda. To download the examples from this video and deploy the application in your own account, visit this URL. Thanks for joining me for this walkthrough. Don't forget to visit the other videos in this series that show other ways of using S3 to Lambda for your serverless applications. Happy coding.